Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Um, thanks for everybody who's been hanging in there. I know this has been a long wait. Um, I'm sorry, I started a new job. So it's been, uh, it's been long days, uh, you know how it is. Um, but uh, evenings have been coming back and uh, cranking on Ecto every spare second I got. Uh, and we've got some progress to show. Um, you know, I haven't been shooting much video because honestly, um, it's finally just like a bit, it's a bit much even for me. Um, I'm fried. But, uh, you know, I think we're finally to the point where the finish line is in sight, but uh, yeah, we still definitely got a, uh, we got we got a ways to go uh, before before we hit the finish point. But at this point, um, I, you know, the chrome hasn't gone any further than, uh, than where it was at the last point, um, except for the side view mirrors. Um, since shooting the last video, the Anycubic Mono X and the washing cure station have shown up and so far, They've been absolutely fantastic. I've pulled off some prints on those that, uh, uh, even as with as good as my machines are, uh, I don't think I would have been able to touch the quality. Um, so I'm tickled pink about that. That holds up, adds a whole new level of dynamic. Uh, and uh, at this point, the last big print for Ecto is on the 410 now, and that is nothing more than the special stand to be able to flip Ecto over upside down so that we can start installing all the electronics and wiring through all the hidden cubbies uh, into the belly of the beast. But uh, the whole undercarriage, which hides the wire, um, is uh, done and assembled. Uh, the uh, wheels with uh, print and place bearings are done and everything is together. Tires have been painted, white walls have been painted, chrome rims have been painted. So I'm really tickled pink with where those will go. Where those will go. Uh, bear in mind that pretty much everything you're going to see, um, nothing is glued in place yet. None of the interior stuff is glued in place yet. None of the roof stuff is glued in place. It's all just set in place for the sake of this video so that you guys can see because um, there's a lot of stuff that still needs little finicky paint here and there or that I need access to or realistically the whole interior is going to get gutted out so I can do my wiring. Um, there really isn't any path for hiring the, hiding all the, the wiring for the roof lights. So I'm gonna have to get a little, uh, a little special uh, with that, but I think I actually have a plan in mind. I think we may actually end up cutting and putting in a headliner inside the sucker too, for no other reason, to punish myself and to hide wiring. Uh, but you know, we've gone this far, so hey, why not? My next big personal uh, push is going to be Chrome. Um, the uh, resin printer, I'm waiting on a couple different uh, colors of resin to show up for transparency because uh, I've got the headlights printing now, I'll be moving on to the bumper, front bumper turn signals next. Once that is done, uh, I'm going to move on to uh, the bullet uh, tail fin lights as well as the rear bumper uh, lights, those will be in red. Uh, the bases for the, for the the light bars for the front and rear of the roof are done, um, but I'm going to have to, uh, i got to paint them white to match the roof, and then we got to print uh, the, the toppers for them. And those will be in a translucent blue there again on the uh, Mono X. Uh, let's see here, what else? And then we've got, you know, all the slew of little lights and whatnot. We've got the strobe covers for the front bumper uh, ready to rock and roll, but yeah, there's, there's still another handful of lights that need to go or light covers that need to get printed for the sucker. But we're, we're, oh my God, we're so close to the finish line for actually all the printed bits, so, um, which is perfect. Uh, the, uh, the gurney for, the, uh, for the, the proton packs came off the printer today. I'm absolutely ecstatic with the quality of that print. Uh, all four proton packs are done there again. Oh my gosh, why did I not have a resin printer in this shop uh, for all these years? I'm just absolutely tickle pink with it. Um, but none of it's been painted, it's just been cleaned up, cured, and primed. Um, so there again, it's slid in there simply for the sake of uh, viewing. Um, what else? Man, I don't know, but maybe it'll pop up in my noggin. Um, so I'm going to shut this down, 
get the camera in my hand and we'll do a little uh, free jiggery and wander around the sucker so you guys can uh, see where we're at. So cheers. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, thanks for hanging with me. And um, I swear I'm working on this stuff and I'm going to try to keep, uh, keep content coming and hopefully come a little bit more regularly once I get, uh, once I get a little more settled into this new job. So, all right, cheers. Bye. All right. So that was a little wonky. Um, yeah, you know, testing out a new tripod, um, a new, uh, little face tracking thingamajigger and, uh, hopefully the audio's a smidge clearer. Um, you know, we're slowly upgrading stuff, trying to make this better the whole way around. But, uh, anywho, onto the Ecto. I know that's what everybody's itching to see. And, uh, let's, uh, see if we can't get this sucker turned around. All right. So there she is in her glory. I'm super tickle pink to uh, finally see her on wheels. Um, right now there's a delay. I'm still waiting, waiting on the uh, on the new vacuum former to show up. Um, but we got plastic sitting in here, uh, cut and ready to rock and roll on it. And all of the uh, bucks are done and stacked up on that table. Everything's sanded and ready to go. Uh, so as soon as that sucker shows up, we'll be uh, throwing some windows in this bad boy but before we do that got to wrap up with the interior need to lay all my wiring uh, for these lights uh, but before we get to that there's a few more things need to happen you know realistically um, all of the lights still need to be uh, printed um, we obviously have a whole bunch of you know fin I got a finishing paint to do on the interior and uh, and I got to finish up all the chrome on the outside <clears throat> I've been dragging my heels a little bit on it just because it is so time consuming and painstaking to do um, but, uh, we got the roof, uh, the, or at least the bottom half of the, uh, front and rear sirens ready to rock and roll. Um, got the siren lights, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm really tired. I've been going since four this morning. Been going since four, four this morning all week long. So I'm probably going to slip up a few times. Um, that's just going to kind of go with the territory, but, uh, I'm getting ready to, uh, mask off and we'll do all our whole band of Chrome, uh, down and around. Still need to do all of the Chrome, uh, highlighting on the wings, um, and the center bit. And then of course on the end, um, need to do the side skirt on the other side. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, uh, what can I say? It's, it's a labor of love. Um, still need to, need to do, I think, uh, one more coat of uh, yellow and the and the green on the on the tanks on the roof rack. Need to do the second second red stripe up there. Still need to print the radar dish for the roof rack. Um, the license plates are done. I'm gonna get sit and sit down and get those painted so I can get those installed at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, rack is in. I gotta do do some little bit of fill work on those. My um, probably just do a little dollop of resin and hit them up. But uh, it's in there. Um, I'm uh, still going to paint the inside of the doors for the door cards um, and clean up the sills in some places. Uh, still got to paint that, but I want to wait until I sit and drill out all those holes. I, I still haven't gotten around to that. That's going to be a good solid few hour project. Um, but uh, floor mats are done and in. I'm really tickle pink with uh, the final you know finish in here. I think uh, the seats look really good and worn floor mats look good and the contrast between that and the kind of you know fuzzy paint effect carpet that we've got going on um yeah it works out really well um so yeah i'm just uh man i, I can't stop looking at it and honest to god i'm so stoked to have this sucker be done um a because this is the longest project that i've had in all year actually this is this will be the longest one it will have taken me to complete this is just an absolute monster um to try and do it well and do it right um but uh yeah so you got to clean up that door sill a little bit i'll do that when i touch it when i do the inside of the door cards but uh yeah i'm i'm just i'm just beyond ecstatic with uh with with where it's at and where it's going um having functioning wheels is super cool it's nice to have it be able to actually roll back and forth um you know for those of you who have been like oh rc 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 man you know you you could do it but uh it it definitely take some uh, some modification of this model and you definitely be 
haven't, having to extensively modify the the interior to make that work. Um, this uh, not final coat of paint. Obviously, this is uh, paint and primer and uh, base coat. Knowing that I'm going to end up going to that family of colors. So, like I've talked about before, you know, be thinking about your color scheme and uh, lay your colors appropriately. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. You know, slowly but surely, we're uh, we're building a pretty big ecto here. So uh, hang with me. You know, I think uh, hopefully I'll have an update or two uh, out next week. I'm really going to do my best to uh, try and do so. And, um, you know, maybe cover some more topics as I'm, as I'm painting and detailing stuff for those that are actually interested. So if you're not interested in seeing detailed painting, um, may want to skip over those episodes or, uh, or not, you know whatever works for you. And I'm always glad and happy for the views. So, um, yeah, there is Ecto. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at. That's where we are in a nutshell. Um, I don't think I have too much more to cover. Honestly, I think I'm about ready to be done for the day, but, um, if you're digging the progress, as always, hang with me, um, tell your friends, you know, tell anybody, you know, who's not subscribed. I always appreciate the subscribes. Um, if you're new to the channel, bienvenido. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe, hit the bell, you know the drill, every YouTube uh, channel asks you to do it, and uh, it's for a reason, you know, it helps uh, support us out here, and uh, if you enjoy the content, it helps keep more flowing, and uh, hopefully the content will be a little bit more fluid next time, I'll be a little bit more awake and not quite so beat to do it, but uh, cheers, hopefully everybody out there is doing really good, and uh, I look forward to shooting the next one. Have a good night. Bye.